Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I made this treadmill for my dog, Ghost. I had this idea over the summer when there was a hurricane that came through which brought a lot of rain and wind. Ghost loves to run, but he hates the rain and he never wants to go out in it. So I thought I would try and build him something so that he can run whenever he wants. A list of materials for this project can be found in the description. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy what you're seeing, and please subscribe and let me know what you think of this video and what would you like me to build next. I started by cutting out pieces for the frame. I made sure that the studs of the frame were about 6 inches from the top and bottom so that the rollers would have room to spin. I'll talk more about that later. I cut down a sheet of quarter inch plywood to use at the top of the treadmill. You could use a thicker piece, but that would make the treadmill a lot heavier. Once I was happy with how the plywood fit, I moved on to painting the frame. I used black spray paint because it would dry fast and the black matched the furniture in my house. I moved on to making the rollers. To make the rollers, I cut down a piece of landscaping timber that would fit inside of a big PVC pipe. I used a larger drill bit to create a countersink and screwed the PVC pipe into the wood. I just cut the leg pieces to a height that looked good. I just needed the top of the treadmill to be higher than the bottom so that it would be more of a challenge and gravity would help the carpet move better. To give the legs a nicer finished look, I took a coffee mug and traced the curve at the top of the leg. I cut close to that curve with the bandsaw and then used a disc sander to get the legs to its final shape and spray painted black to match the frame. fastening the plywood to the frame. I countersunk the screws into the plywood to make sure the screws were flush with the top and gave the layer a light sanding. I made sure not to sand the top of the plywood too much and pull off that top layer. It was only enough to get rid of any rough spots that might cause friction. Now it's time to put the rollers on the frame. It's important that you put the rollers on so that the roller is sticking above the top of the frame. This will help prevent the carpet from hitting the edge of the frame and getting stuck. I pre-drilled a hole in the center of both sides of the rollers and then pre-drilled the frame as well. The hole in the frame was slightly bigger so that I could fit a copper pipe into the hole. This will help create less friction so the roller can move freely. I then used a framing nail to attach the rollers to the frame and it spins great. 
I did the same process to the roller in the back. I then attached the legs to the frame and I checked to make sure the carpet was the correct size. Make sure there is some slack in the carpet. If it is too tight, it will be harder to get it spinning. I then put a coat of wax on top of the treadmill. This step isn't necessary, but I figured making the top a little slicker couldn't hurt. I then took the carpet, looped it around the frame, and sewed it together using some metal wire. I made sure that I put masking tape on the ends to make sure any sharp edges were covered. time for a quick test and the carpet moves great. Now the last step is to add some safety to the treadmill for ghosts. Remember, don't let your dog use this unsupervised. I created a frame that is a little taller than he is using some scrap 2x4s. I ran out of spray paint so I'll just paint this later. Before I added this to the treadmill, I added an eye bolt to the center piece. To make sure that I attached this perfectly to the frame at the correct angle, I turned the treadmill on its side and then attached it to the frame. The final part was to tie part of an old leash to the eye bolt, which is going to attach to Ghost Harness when he is running. Ghost was very afraid of this at first, so I'm slowly training him to start running on it. Hopefully I'll get a video for you guys soon of him using it. If you liked the video, please give the video a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let me know what you think of this project in the comments below. Thanks for watching!